Hello humans, Master Dinnerflex here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve, and today I'll be going over something that's a little strange. Now the combo, the quick combo, is going to be for Teller Knights, but this is more of a discussion of what future support for Teller Knights can be. So quick history lesson. Teller Knights have been a competitive deck before, back in 2014 and parts of 2015. And it was effectively a very slow XC stun deck. I don't even want to call it a control deck because it really needed all of its traps and it needed to prevent as many actions from the opponent as possible for its one card engine to properly function. And its one card engine revolved around Deneb. Deneb would search Altier, which would revive the Deneb, which would get an Altier, and it, you would just repeat this loop over and over again. And the strategy, while it was effective, was terrible. This was not a very solid win condition, even for how slow the time was. This, you needed so many traps to back up this process or you're probably just going to lose but what i noticed over time through no support of its own like over time it started to shift it's got no new cards since 2016 however i noticed due to link summoning you could do some pretty strange things with this deck. And I'm going to get into the combo before I go into the point of this video. Just so you can see what I'm talking about in practice. And what we're going to need is something very difficult to explain. But it can be shown off with stick and chair. And what this needs to be is a rank uh, rank four that uses three level four monsters without committing to any teller knight effects now this is kind of tricky because there are not a lot of those in the game the only one i could even think of off the top of my head was stick and chair because because all the others that could let you do it will lo lock you into xc summoning for the turn and that's not what we're wanting to go for so what we really want right now, and where I think the first way to support this deck, is to give it very, very easy access to the first extra deck we're monster we're going to summon. So let's just get into our rank four. We're not even going to include the chair draws or the stick draw into the amount of random cards, because the point isn't that this is stick and chair. This just needs to be a way to get three level fours on board before you commit to a single Teller Knight effect, while at the same time not locking you out of any extra deck mechanics. And our first Dixie is going to be Deltaros. And we are going to use Deltaros' effect to target itself and pop itself. Now, in a new chain, Deltaros will activate to special summon a Teller Knight from the deck, which will be Altier. And Altier will trigger to revive the Deltros. Now this is one of the things where I say Teller Knights had a very secret fundamental change with how the deck can function. Because of Link summoning, you now can actually look at Deltros and see it's actually formidable. So this card has Two effects. These are the only effects for a very long time that Teller Knight players cared about. It's that while it has XC materials, your opponent cannot respond to your summons. And once per turn, you can detach a material to target a card on the field and destroy it. So back then, these were the only effects that Teller Knight players were concerned about. And that meant this card was rarely gone into because Trevere just was way better in almost every scenario. So the only effect this card had over Trevere is its final effect. If it is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one Teller Knight monster from your hand or deck. Now, this is interesting. Because 
This effect is not once per turn, and unlike Trevere, he doesn't care if he has XE materials. And we, I am going to show you how wild this can get, and why I think if we get new support for this deck, it might go this direction. Back to where we were. We are going to continue this combo, because we have not even really started it yet. We are going to link Altier and Deltaros into Isolde. Chain Link 1 will be Deltaros to summon from the deck again, and Chain Link 2 will be Isolde. And we will search Altier because we have used its effect this turn. And then finally, we will special summon Vega from the deck, and Vega will trigger on summon to special summon Ukulele from our hand, which we will then activate to send any Teller Knight. Preferably one we're going to see later anyways, so let's just send an ab. Now we are going to activate Isolde to send four equip spells from our deck to the graveyard. Now two of these equip spells don't matter, however two of them do matter. And the ones that do matter are Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, kind of makes sense, and this one sort of sparkles. And this one has an effect, it can only be equipped to X-Sabers, so you can't actually use this as an equip spell. However, it has an effect, while it's in the graveyard, you contribute one monster re to return it to the top of the deck. Now, we aren't wanting to put it back in the deck for no reason, we want the tribute effect. And we'll get into that soon, but now we can special summon a Teller Knight from deck, and right now it doesn't matter. It just needs to be a Teller Knight that isn't Altier because we can't summon it for the rest of the turn. And now, we are going to overlay these two Teller Knights into Douglas, the Man Without a Watch. We are going to detach two materials to revive Deltaros from our graveyard again. Now, what we can do is link these three into a 3 material Apollosa. And that is very simply right here. Now what I summon from deck, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and get to Neb because we already have access. We're just going to replace Prykreon with Deneb and when we do that we're just going to search a Vega. And now Deltaros will trigger for a third time to special summon another Teller Knight of whatever you want. Now, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We actually have five Teller Knights in the graveyard right now, so we can go ahead and Pot of Avarice if we want to. And I don't think I will. I'm fine with the graveyard right now. And now we are going to detach, uh, overlay these two into Rika Queen Strina. This is not going to do anything. It, as a matter of fact, we are going to tribute it right now to put Sword of Sparkles to the top of our deck. In a new chain, Rika will trigger to special summon itself as an XE material for a plant XE monster. And we are going to summon Sacred Tree Beast Hyperiton. This card is a very strange Makaba. Um, what you do it is on your turn, if you activate an effect of any card, you can target a card in your graveyard of the same type you activated of a card or effect, so monster spell or trap, and then detach a material. Then, when your opponent activates a card or effect during your opponent's turn, you can detach the same type of card from this as a material to negate the activation and destroy the card. So... Now, we want to get a spell under here, and that's very easy because it doesn't require you to activate the type of card, just the effect of that type of card. So we are going to banish um, one of the redundant names and the Altier to add Phoenix Blade back to our hand, and then one of the equip spells will now get attached to the Hyperiton. So... By having a Teller Knight in your hand and access to Deltaros turn one, you made this very easily. This is what I think the deck's future might have. 
because when we look at the Bujin support we got uh, late 2020, early 21, it was... It was such a drastic change from the original playstyle that Yamato became unusable in the deck. And the truth is, that's not because the cards we got were better, but it was more the fact that Yamato, the set cards summon Yamato pass strategy was far beyond unplayable at that point. We were so far ahead in Yu-Gi-Oh! past that point that that strategy might as well have just been summon La Gen. It served no functionality. It didn't advance any game state in comparison to what every other deck is trying to do. It was unplayable. It was an unplayable deck. So what the new cards did is they looked at the card pool that was actually being used, that could actually benefit a stronger, faster play style. And that was cards like... Um, Hirume, Arasuda, I don't know if I got that name right, it's the other level 4 that's yellow, and they looked at all these extenders, and rather than try to promote Yamato being faster, what they did is they looked at their card pool and said, what if we just, instead of relying on Yamato, let's instead replace the deck's identity with Susanoo, which does everything Yamato does just way, way faster. And that's a strategy I can see with this deck, because you don't have to worry too much about this deck being broken because of the fact that every single card in this deck has a hard once per turn attached to it. Outside of Deltaros. So even if you use Steltros a hundred times, eventually you will start getting Teller Knights that will not have their effects. So I actually think if we get support for this deck in any near future, it will very much eliminate the original playstyle of Traver looping and go for a much more aggressive Deltaros loop. I actually, as weird as it is, I think that's the future of this deck if it gets support. Now this deck may never receive support because um, it is not a very interesting deck as many players try to play it as. It is summon to net pass and then try to Traver loop, set a bunch of floodgates and trap cards, and then win like once every five games. It is not a very interesting strategy, so a lot of people don't really have an affinity for the deck. However, this... If it were to get support, because very similarly, Bujin's not a lot of people had an affinity for, but it got support out of nowhere that completely changed the playstyle into a much more aggressive deck, and I think that's the exact future this deck might get if it gets any support. But yep, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching, and remember, Master Dinnerflax will take your soul.